Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Kathleen Alcala and I am working on some signatures for journals. Well, I should say this was going to be one journal, but look at, <laughs> they're too big. <laughs> I'm going to make this into three journals, but look how beautiful the papers are. I want to go over what I'm doing and then I want to work on some ephemera. So this one, I just want to show you guys a flip through. And this is probably going to be so big, it's probably going to go right off the screen. Let's see how far it I am. Oy. I'm afraid if I move anything on the steps, everything will go flying. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so what I've been doing is trying to prepping things I thought I really liked. I have a lot of digital kits and um, I put a piece of fabric in here. So some of this... Um, I, I couldn't even tell you, excuse my reach, my things are getting in the way, my tools. Some of this, I'm not really sure what kits they came from, what digital kits, but I apologize. I've had some for quite a while. I used some um, tea, um, avocado dyed paper. Look how cute this image is, I love birds. I thought that would be really pretty here. Some tea dyed paper. This is a little bag and I put, um, tag I love this I know this is from pixie pixie dust files and then um, I'm working on a whole bird theme thing going on here so this one is kind of a bird thing um, I'm just showing you real brief what I I've done so far I've just put different papers I try to use like this is a vintage dictionary um, I got this I had purchased, I can't remember, I think they might have been postcards, and they slid them in there, and I thought that was so cute. I love these angels. This is probably gonna go like that. So what I wanna do is just kind of real quick, uh, the reason I decided to make these into journals is because each of these signatures had such a different theme going on with it. And this one, that was birds. This tended to be floral. Uh, more of an angelic, girly, sweet, really bright and pretty um, journal, which I'll show you more of the pages I picked later on. So today, this is what I want to work on. This is going to be, um, I'm going to put it this way so you can actually see it. This is going to be a kind of a paper doll um, journal. And it won't be a big one because I didn't put a lot of papers in there because I thought it was going to be a signature. Changed my mind. I did use a full 12 by 12 inch scrapbook paper, so it's very thick. See? I thought I planned on just covering the bottoms. I didn't want to trim it. I wanted it to be really long. Probably too long, but I liked it. So I picked out decorative papers. This was some of the vintage papers or digital papers that I had. And there's a bag. See, aren't these pretty? And this was a, I think it's, I want to say it's Italian. Old book page. Some stuff is authentic vintage, like this is a ledger. I did use some Amity Bloom washi tape because it was so fragile. And I made, I flipped up the ledger because it was so big and turned it into a pocket. These are Tim Holtz wallpapers. I'm probably not going to use them, but I shoved them in there just to remind myself about the pocket. <laughs> this is, um, I believe it's avocado dead, but I'm not really sure. I did purchase that. And then I can't remember who I purchased that from. I pop my apologies. And this is um, some scrapbook paper. And I just kind of like the idea of it being different when you're opening different lengths. And this is so pretty. I turned this into the center because I thought that was just beautiful. And then, of course, you have the flip side of that. So I have this, is this the, so cute. I've had this for a little bit. I bought it when it first came out. I thought it was so cute, these paper dolls. I really wanted to use them. I thought this would be really cute to put on this journal here. So my mind, what I was thinking about is on the front cover, I had another image, let's see. Look how cute that is. I thought about doing something like that, putting it 
you know, towards the bottom something, not quite sure. And then let me show you how cute it is to have these pages open up with cute little images. Watch. How cute is that? Look at how cute she looks there. Isn't that adorable? Can you guys see how cute that is? So that's why I thought I'm going to use these dolls for this this one. I think that would be really sweet. So let's just let's start make some let's make some ephemera for this journal. Hopefully the surface isn't too shiny. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I just decided that I wanted a little bit better of a work surface since I am going to be using glue, and I tend to get glue everywhere. Okay, so aren't these the cutest little things? Oh, look how cute that is, you guys. I'm just in love with it. Especially this dark Charlotte doll looking one. Cute, right? My sister was kind enough to help me today. She was cutting some of these doll images out. And so I really appreciate the help. So there's a cute house. Look at these houses, how cute they are. They're adorable. I love them. Love them. So I don't think I necessarily need these dolls. I think I already cut out so many dolls. I think for now I'm going to put those aside and concentrate more on these little girls. So let's put the pile of dolls here. What I want to look at is this journal and think about what I want to do. Like I said, I love, I love that. So I really want some of the bigger dolls to be on here because look how cute that is. Let me see. Look at the big dolls, the big girls. And see what they look like on here. I probably cut out more. I mean, I think I printed them twice, so I might have a lot more similar dolls. Okay. So, look how cute. Yeah, see, these are the same. These two dolls here. And these are the same here. You know what? I still think I like this doll. That's, I think, my favorite for this little page. I want this paper to show. I don't want that to go away. I like that the old writing is showing. My only thought process is I'm wondering if I should put a doll dress here as well. Like how cute is that, right? Okay. I think I really like that idea of a doll dress there. I'm not feeling like I need to put a lot of anything, like a lot of backing or a lot of, I just think it's sweet and adorable on its own, but I will try some, um, see how that looks. I guess that's not bad. I guess I just really like the idea of the, the word showing through more than I like. Yeah, you know what, you guys? I'm gonna just have the word show through. Hold on, let me get my ink pad. I think I do want to ink some of this, especially the dress, since it was cut out a little wonky. One night when I wasn't feeling the best and I was in bed, I actually cut most of these out and it was a good way to kill time and felt like I was crafting, <laughs> even though I wasn't. Okay. Alrighty. How cute. Okay. So there's a white tree. I left a little bit white border there because I wasn't sure what kind of a backdrop I'm needing. But I think I'm going to ink that. You'll still see that there's a, um, a border around the doll itself. But I do feel like I think because the paper is so vintage. I want to go ahead and do this. I was, when I was making, um, putting the signatures together and putting all the paper in, the, in there and 
I happened to start looking at what images I wanted to use. And I have to tell you, I was feeling really burnt out on the Victorian woman, the dress, the whole, and maybe because I got so saturated with that, I just felt like I needed a change. Now I've been wanting to make a paper doll journal forever, forever, literally, it seems like forever anyway. And I never did. And then I bought this and thought, oh my gosh, that is just too cute, right? So I'm just gonna glue this on. I, I'm gonna go ahead and let that paper, the wording show on the paper because I think that would be really cute. I don't think I need a lot of glue. Sometimes I like to not put a lot of glue in case I change my mind and I want there to be something underneath the image. I can still have the ability to lift the edges up. Isn't that cute? I love that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see this good. You see that? How durable that is? See, I'm not sure how much. I should like to see, look to see what other images I want to use. So let's work on, I want to do something here. Don't know if I want it to be a doll. They're so cute, these old dolls though. But I guess the whole, well, I guess the whole thing could be dolls. I don't know if I necessarily want them to be dolls. This one is adorable. This little girl right here, this image. You know, you could even have two of the same thing on, like this page, double vision. I love this image right here. Isn't that cute? I guess I'm almost just loving the doll on the paper itself. I know that that seems boring, but I think they're just so stinking cute, the dolls. Okay, let me look at, let me get my options here. Let's just pull these girls out. Okay. Here's a little girl. Oh, she looks a little sad. Look at her face. That really shows up there, really bright. That's a possibility. Possibility. Okay. She's cute there. Let's just ink her up a little bit. Just a little bit. I think I want to put her there. Okay, what she want? Okay. Let's see, what do you guys think? I think that's so cute. <laughs> Can I do it? <laughs> Uh, I'll probably add laces and things like that to make it a little bit more interesting, but the images themselves I think are too cute. I love them. I think that is adorable. Love it. Wait, she's a little crooked. A little crooked. There she goes. Okay. Cute. Very, very cute. Let's look here. See, I don't want that in there. That doesn't work for me. I'm not loving the, this color combination, so more than likely I'm probably going to either, I hate the bee, that I hate, I hate that they put a bee in there, that will have to be covered, I don't know how, but that's got to be covered, piece of fabric maybe, to cover the bee, now I feel like it needs something, so like I said, I have a lot of different things I want to use. Let's see. So I have like little envelopes. I think I'm going to use one of those. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, not, I'm trying not to open this too close to the camera. Look at how cute these are. So that might be a kind of cute to 
See, there's nothing in these envelopes. I knew when I purchased them, there was nothing in them because I thought for specific things just like this. I thought that'd be real cute. Possibly even up here. Maybe. That could be cute. Wouldn't it be cute with a little dolly? Let me see, let me find one of the big dolls. As if she was carrying, you know what? I think I might have smaller ones. Let me see which is the smallest size I got. Maybe the same size. Let's see, hold on. Uh uh, look at it. That is perfect. And but I don't want that particular doll with her holding that ice cream. Let me see. No. Ooh, this is my favorite doll, I think. She a cutie. I love that doll. In fact, I think she's gonna be the cover of this doll. Because I like her so much. Look how cute that would be. Isn't that adorable, you guys? So what I think I want to do, because this is so vintage and she looks a little bit more older, if I have her bottom covered like this, I think that would be really cute. There's, I don't believe there's anything in it. Cute little envelope. Honestly, I almost hate to use that envelope for that because I'll be glued down. Oh well. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I need to use my stuff. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Not wanting to use anything. <laughs> okay, so I do want to cover up, probably cover the bottom. I definitely gonna need lace on the bottom. I pulled out some really pretty, I pulled some things here that I really liked and wanted to use. So let me pull, let me get it out here. Okay. So. so I thought in my mind's eye I could put maybe something probably not a doily but I had contemplated a doily. That could be cute though, couldn't it? A doily on the girl. That's pretty cute, I have to say. Let's see. I also have things like this that look like it was a square that I could put on the bottom to kind of cover up that bottom piece, which is cute. It could be like that. That's cute too. That's really cute, I like that a lot. Let's see what this would be like underneath. What if I was to just cover a little bit? Does that feel too hodgepodgey, you guys? I wish you guys could actually answer me. It would be wonderful. Let's, oh, okay, let me take this out and let's try this. That would fit across. But her legs would hang over. Well, it's cute, but I think I actually still like this. It's just a touch too big, right? It comes over the edges. No, it's too big. I do have smaller ones. I'm just gonna have to look for them. However, I do like this pink here. I think that's cute. I also like her here down below. And I'm thinking there's probably something I'm gonna wanna use for the top piece. Mm. 
have so many pretty things. I could do something like that. that cute? I like that. I just like that simple pink stripe going across. I could put lace, um, put ribbon through it. I kind of don't want ribbon through it. I kind of like that as it is. I had this little dangle I made. You know what would be really good here? Title. That's probably why I like this. I'm trying to think if I have any titles anywhere. I can look. I can look for a title. I don't have to do everything today, right? I do like this, and I am going to do this. I'm going to glue this on. I love it. I love it. can't remember where I got it from. But I remember when I saw it, I thought, I thought that I'm going to get it because it was a square. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way for this. But it doesn't matter because I want it to go this way, right? I'm going to put it this way just so I can see it. Different perspective. Cute. Love that love that let me ink her up a little bit because you can see some of the white on her trim if you're hearing noise it's it's a sunday afternoon people are getting out and about the dogs have been berserk all day barking at everything they hear um yesterday there was the neighbors had a big party kind of a thing, which was funny because it was karaoke and <laughs> my dog was barking. I thought, oh my gosh, that'd be so funny if she started howling. Because <laughs> they didn't, weren't, they weren't singing all that great. <laughs> but that's what karaoke, that's what karaoke is for, right? Is not to be a professional singer, but to have fun. So it was kind of funny. We couldn't get her to stop barking. <laughs> So it's been more mallow today, <clears throat> but we do have people out and about, which is normal. <laughs> so um, the dogs have been a little rambunctious today. That's so cute, you guys. I love that so much. So yeah, I was doing all of this and I thought, you know, I put so much the paper's so heavy for a um, for a signature. I think I'm going to just turn them into journal. Each one a journal. Small journal. They, um, like I said, they each have their own theme. So that's kind of cool. What I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to glue this little piece right here. And still leave that somehow it can be opened I just think that's cute 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 this needs a little bit of gluing down so I'm in California I'm by the coast middle of California and it has been foggy you guys, it's been gray. I know we call June gloom over here, but this is no joke. It is really depressing. It's been so foggy and gloomy. Really, really gloomy. Um, for weeks, we had one nice day and everybody was so excited. See, I could see where I thought I would like that. Watch, I'm going to cut a piece just so, I think it's kind of a long piece. Just so you could see what I was talking about. Like, it might look cute as if it was... A sign like some wording like a book mm -hmm. no I guess I do like it all the way across <laughs> I like it all the way across I'm just gonna do it see just put it all the way across here let's see how much you know what I should just maybe do this sometimes I think Okay, 
edge this way. I think right about here. I'm just going to put a line across. Let's see how that works. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't believe it's ready Sunday. Last weekend, I was kind of got busy. There was a lot happening. I wasn't able to craft. I don't think I craft at all. Um, there was graduations happening, and I went to a graduation party. And um, let me see if I fold this. Which was really a nice graduation party. It was for one of my staff. Her daughter was graduating from high school, but I was so proud of her. She got accepted to a full ride for UC Berkeley. If you're not familiar with UC Berkeley, it's a college in California that's very prestigious. And um, she also got accepted to Cornell. I said I was so proud of her that um, it's like if it was my daughter. <laughs> I'm just really proud of her. I know she has struggled in her life with a lot of things, raised by a single mother and not having the most amount of money ever, but she was smart, determined, and she's going in for computer science. So I am feel very um, happy for her. I think she has a bright, bright future ahead of herself, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what she accomplishes in her life. If you do that, you can barely see it, see? But you still can see it. Yes? No, maybe not that one. I think I need a smaller. Hold on. This is cute. Can lighten it up out of that beige tone. Mm, time is cooking by, guys. That's cute. Carly see it, but I love it. Minute. Have you guys ever done this where you um, do something, you don't actually glue it down, you come back the next day to see if you actually like it? <laughs> I do that all the time. I never know if I'm really gonna like something. Look how cute that would be hanging there. If this is here and that was to hang off of here, like a little delicate flower. Isn't that cute? I think so, and I'm going to do it. Okay, make sure I have enough of this. Yeah, I do. It's pretty. See how pretty that is? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. So, there to there. Okay, another line of glue. So, does anybody else have any... Um, graduating people in their family or friends. It's always such a happy time. I think back of my graduation. Don't remember much about my high school graduation because it was so long ago. But I think more in terms of my college graduation was so exciting. I went to UC, UC, I'm sorry. I went to Santa Clara University which is a university close to my hometown so it was kind of cool but I, I i did actually um live in a dorm it was an italian dorm and um, it was ran by an italian community through the school and it was just amazing it was beautiful it had its own big giant fireplace and pool room and living room and um, it had a little uh, patio out in the back um, it was wonderful had little libraries in each floor there was three floors and we each had our own rooms it was wonderful it was a great time I really enjoyed myself it was good times good times good times okay mm -mm -mm. hello what I oh here it is <laughs> Oh man, sometimes I crack myself up. I have some, um, where I work, I have um, a lead, which means he's in charge of all the medication passing. And he is such a help to me, such a blessing, this man. And um, 
I told him <laughs> that um, he probably thinks, oh man, I'm dealing with a woman who's so old. Because <laughs> I'm like, I can't find it. I can't see it. I don't know where it's at. He's like, boss, it's right there. <laughs> I can picture him in my mind just saying that, boss, it's right there. Or <laughs> sometimes I'm in a hurry. And, you know, my eyesight's not real good anymore because since I've had so many surgeries and problems and stuff and for my eyes. And um, I will tell him, <laughs> I, I'll go to work and he tells me, boss, your shirt's inside out again. <laughs> Oh, man, he deserves a prize working with me, I'm telling you. <laughs> I am grooming him to take over my job one day. He's already ready. He's ready. He's ready for me to retire. <laughs> but I'm not ready. I can't yet. I can't retire yet. It's, not, it's too early. I still have like seven or eight more years to go <laughs> before I can retire. Mm, excuse me, I'm drinking some tea. It tastes so lovely iced tea that is that is cute I really like that now I feel like I need to put I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do this whole thing because this is well yeah that's enough I can do it I can do it on Sunday we start thinking about work already of course I had a call this morning from one of my staff she cracked me up she couldn't find this key to open up a fuse box because the power went out in the kitchen right the fuse got blown. <laughs> the the breaker went came off, turned off. So I could I'm texting her and then I probably call her and like telling her how to find the key. It's not here. I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> so then the other person comes on shift, and I was about ready to go down there. I was so close to packing, you know, getting my stuff together to go over there and help her. And then she tells me. She sent me a text. I found it. I must be blind. I need an eye exam. <laughs> I thought, I'm not, who am I to say anything? Because I just said that I'm always saying I can't find things. And then there it is. And then, you know, my helper tells me it's right there. <laughs> so I am not, I have no room to say anything about that. Ugh. Guys, I'm going to hold on a second. Probably your thing's going to fall down like an avalanche. But I got to move this. It's my tool bin. And it's like hold, It's like holding up a, it's like a dam wall. Holding up a pile of stuff. Okay. I think that will be more helpful. Okay. So now I'm going to just, I want to put it across. I'm going to put a little bit in here. And then here. So you hear, you hear? Okay. Okay. How's everybody doing? Guess I could have asked that sooner, huh? That was rude of me. Rude, I tell you, rude. Hope everybody's well. I hope there's happiness and joy, or if not, perhaps contentment. Contentment's a good one, right? Okay. Let me do this. See? Would have been better to miter those corners, but I guess I still could, right? To the best of my ability. I'll need to go back down a little bit more. But for now, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it, I tell you, I'm leaving it. Cute. So cute. I can barely stand it. So cute. Be cute, maybe. I like the shiny on it. Or this. That's cute too, right? There's one that has like these dangles, but that then that blocks out. No way. That one doesn't work at all. So I think it's this one. I actually kind of like that. I think that's cute there. I'm going to put it there, you guys. I'm going to do it. It's 
So does anybody have any plans to go on traveling or holidays for this summer? I don't have anything planned for this summer. Nothing, nothing. I'd like to. Thinking about it. I love that. I don't think that is so cute. Puts a little color, don't you think? A little spark, a little shimmer. This is so cute. I love this. You guys, I really love that. That is adorable, right? Cute. My sister told me the other day that my all my stuff on the side was a distraction to her. It was hard to see my things because it was too much of a distraction. So I'm trying to be obedient and listen to her <laughs> move the stuff out of the way. Problem is I have so many little things that, you know, what can I do? What can I do? I got stuff everywhere. Okay. I'm so in love with this, I can't even turn the page. I like it so much. Okay. I'm not going to keep you guys long because I know my videos tend to be kind of on the long side. I don't know if people like that or not. Probably not. I don't know. Can you guys comment, please, and let me know, would you rather me just do short videos, the longer version, or just like a quick look through when I do stuff? I really would like to know. I, you know, I do these videos because I'm having fun, maybe because I like to talk to myself, but part of it is I feel like I'm talking to somebody and I feel like you guys are here and my, literally here with me. But if this is annoying to people and they'd rather not sit through all of this to find the end product, I'm happy to change it. I can craft and then show, show and tell after. I'm happy to do that too. So if you wouldn't mind telling me what you all think, I'd appreciate it. It would be really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, enough of that. Mm, she cute? I love this page. I think it's adorable. And of course, you know, I love birds, so I'm in love with that too. So with this part, I'm kind of feeling like I would like to do maybe a little bit of fabric or um, that lace down. That'd be pretty. Doily. Cute. That's cute, huh? Let me see. Image-wise, just the dollies. Or do you think that works, the dollies? You know what? What if I was to cut this off? And make it more like she's wearing a snow hat. Doesn't that look better? Da da! <laughs> I'll create my own paper dolls. <laughs> I like that there. I like it. Okay, just a little bit of ink. Just a little bit. That's cute. Now that I really do like. Alrighty, I'm just going to do it, you guys. I'm just going to go for it. Let's see, one way or another. I'm just going to do it. Okay. I've been trying to be more decisive and not, I mean, um, so that way, I don't take a thousand years to do anything because I think I take a long time sometimes trying to decide is that the right way is that the right color is that the right <laughs> people on the screen watching are probably like yelling just do it stop for God's sake <laughs> I don't know if you really are or not but you might be okay I'm gonna just put some glue on this thing I love this doily it is so cute you know, I really like the doilies that um, aren't thick. They're very thin. I think they're so nice to work with. The thick ones I have a harder time working with. I got a bunch of thick ones. Um, you know what I mean by the heavier. Let's see. Okay. Can you oh, put this out? This and all. Yeah. Cute. Okay, then I'm going to put this girl here. Just a little dolly. 
Yeah, but I got a lot of the other kind of doilies. They're just thick and harder for me to use. I just find it easier to use these sweet. Should I put it a little bit further down? Well, hey, like it's a halo for her, huh? Or do I like it in the center? Halo. Center. I like center. Okay. Alright. My cute. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Just because I'm trying not to take too long and be forever here. But I did want to show you this. Isn't it adorable? Sorry. My head. White on my hand. So, here's the front cover. It's adorable. And that. Cute, right? And that. And that. Cute. I love it. So that's what I did today. I'll probably work on some more ephemera um, off camera and then um, possibly filming. I'm not really sure. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day and week. And thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.